businesses that are looking to sponsor events like this. So if you are one of them, please get in touch with us and we'll have you get in touch with Kathy. I mean, there are so many girls. I mean, I have a list of girls who are currently, like I said, in the five other states that are off, they're just, I mean, it's just such a great experience and we're all trying to travel around and with only five states involved right now, it's kind of hard to cover everybody. Now you have a director, she handles a whole state. So your director will, will travel from one, one part of the state to the end, or do you have like regional directors somewhere maybe no, in the I state? Think, no, I think she just basically covers it herself. There's only a handful of us girls right now, and we cover, we cover our own areas. Mm -hmm. So we basically travel here and there. And, and so the director's age group varies. Oh, yeah. oh yes. So we have girls participating in this project that are as young as like 13. We even have a seven-year-old little girl who goes around hosting princess parties. She does. Her, yes. Of course, she has to have her mother. Her mother, her mother uh, yes, goes with her. And that's that's seven year old. That's amazing. They, yes. I mean, uh, what does she actually do with her mom? I mean, um, they have gone to the hospital, and um, you know, they have presented the cake and a tiara, and they also get a certificate that proclaims them a princess. And um, there's pictures actually on our website. You have yes. Now, does all your directors have to have a website? No, they don't have to have a website, but. Um, I'm in the process of right now of getting mine up and running. I've been working on it. It would be great if they did have a website. That, that way more people could be able to go to this website and find out all the information that they needed in case they wanted to get involved. Well, at the end of the show, we are going to let you know what Kathy's uh, website address is so that you can get on there and, you know, hopefully contact her and be able to donate those tiaras and uh, some funding for her transportation. So how much time does this take out of your schedule a month? <laughs> Actually, it really doesn't take that much time, which is what's so great about it, because you can help others, and I mean, it really is not taking a lot of time away from your family and your personal life. It takes me a couple hours, really a week, and that is to you know make some phone calls or you know collect tiaras, and then just I mean just I can just run to the store and get the ribbon. And, I mean, just maybe two hours, two or three hours a week. That's it. I mean. Now, you've been doing this how long? Um, about four months. That's what it. got you interested in this? I mean, where did first of all, where did you hear about it and why did you want to do this? I heard about the Princess Project through another pageant and they had a link to this website called The Princess Project. And I clicked on it and I read the story of Marion and her daughter Elizabeth and what they were trying to accomplish. And I love helping people. I love to volunteer. And I was, and I thought this would be so great to have in this area. I was like, there are so many hospitals and so many children around here that would love a princess party of their own. So I contacted Marion, and I asked her, you know, what are the guidelines, and what goes into having a princess party. Mm -hmm. And she told me, and I was like, this is what I want to do. So I got some friends together, and I start and made up a website, and I started going to making calls to hospitals, nursing homes, um, kind of just put a couple of flyers up around town and people started answering mm -hmm. and, and it went from there. Mm -hmm. And it gives you great joy and satisfaction once you leave a princess party, Oh, it is. It? It's overwhelming. <laughs> just, I mean, there's just so much love in that room when you leave and you just leave, you know, feeling so great, like you've made a difference in somebody's life and that's the best feeling I think I, you could ever have, really. Have you been asked to come back again by the hospitals and oh, places that you've gone to have yes. the Christmas, uh, the, the Princess par uh, Project party? Yes. Yes, you have. Once yeah. the door is open, it seems like. Once the door is open, yeah. I mean, it's just, you get a ton of, and they refer you to other people, and then before you know it, you know, everyone's wanting to have a Princess party, and it's just so fun. Against the Princess Party is um, a project that works with girls faced with physical and mental handicaps, yes. serious injuries, like, or ser serious illnesses right. such as cerebral palsy, cancer, um, like serious injuries from car accidents, just a wide range of things, um, grief even, things that 
can come into your life and just overwhelm you and just like anything that's stressful or I mean we come in there and we have these parties and we keep it positive and we make them we, we make them feel you know great and that you know all their make them forget about their problems and or their illness and it's just I don't know the feeling of it. It's overwhelming. It's, it really, it really is. is. It's, overwhelming. it's overwhelming. Have you found yourself getting choked up by holding back tears? I mean, it, it seems to me that when you see these children, uh, and I know we've done some yes. uh, uh, parties and events at hospitals for, for children at Children's Memorial Hospital, you know, we had to hold back the tears. Uh, you know, a lot of mothers would grab us and hug us when we had done this. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're getting a lot from yes, parents you, who appreciate you there. Especially the children's hospitals when you walk in there and you know they've been there for so long. And some of these children, they don't have, you know, a lot of family. or they, And they've been there for so long that when you come in there and you're like, I'm here to see you and I've brought all these things and it's going to be your day, they just smile and they're just... They come up and they hug you, and you just want to cry <laughs> because you, cause, um, you just know that you made them so happy and that you're going to leave there and you're going to leave this impression on them that's going to last for so long. And then who knows, maybe they'll, they'll start a party, you know, start parties of their own one day. And so this goal was to have it in 50 states yes. and to have it in a